Good morning, Pre-K. Happy Friday. Today we're going to be reading a story that's called Under the Stars. We've been talking about light, especially at night, and things that we may find in, at night, like animals and things in the sky. So if we look at the cover, we will see that there's a moon, there's some stars, there may be some animals that are nocturnal that we tend to see at night. So let's get into it. Lily loves exploring with her friends, Cal, Zen, and Neptune. What is he holding? It looks like he's holding something that's a light. That is called a lantern. Tonight, they will explore the backyard. Lily uses her flashlight to see who is awake. Hmm, Lily is using her flashlight. And here we have some animals. Which animal has feathers, an owl or a skunk? We have our owl there. Which one has a fluffy tail, a firefly or a raccoon? A raccoon. Which one has fur, mouse or cricket? So we have it flipped to the mouse. Let's go to the next page. Vegetables are Cal's favorite food, so he leads the way to the garden. Mmm, I see some stuff here. It says he sees lettuce, cabbage, and tomatoes. So here we have the lettuce, cabbage, and tomatoes. Now we're gonna go back here and it says, which one can be stinky? There we go. What animal is that that's stinky? A skunk. And those we tend to see at night too. And we don't wanna go near them because they might spray us if they get spooked. Here it says, which one has six legs? Is it the mouse? Or do we flip it and say a grasshopper? Hmm, let's count those legs. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, so I think it's that grasshopper. And here it says, which one has paws? A raccoon or a firefly? I think we should stick with the raccoon. Let's go to the next. Neptune loves water, so he stops by the pond. There, he says hello to his friend Flip the frog. So it says, which one has a white stripe? Does the skunk have a white stripe? Yep. Which one chirps? A mouse? or a cricket, I probably called it a grasshopper before, but I meant to say cricket. A cricket definitely does chirp, and we do hear them at night. And which one has wings? Does anybody remember what was there? It's the raccoon and the firefly. So that one has wings, right? So let's see, who are we going to meet next? This is Zen's favorite thing to do at night. She likes to relax and think while she stares at the stars. So if we look around, we see a bunch of stars and we see the moon, but we also see something right here. This is a constellation and it's called the Big Dipper. Which one can glow in the dark? Can a raccoon glow in the dark? No. Firefly can though. Which one has a beak? A skunk? Or an owl? Does an owl have a beak? Yes. 
and which one has a long tail? Does a cricket have a tail? No. Does anybody, oops, remember what's behind here? Does a mouse have a long tail? It looks like it. So, I wanted to read this story because I wanted to focus in on this constellation called the Big Dipper. There are a bunch of different constellations that we can find in the sky. And it's, as you can see, it could be like a type of pattern or a design that the sky makes with the stars. So I figured that today you can make your own constellation. I'm going to send in an email, a picture of a few constellations if you want to try copying a constellation or you can make your own. So Mrs. Maldonado here made her own constellation and I used Q-tips. My glue still a little wet. But, and I gave it a name. I called it Ram. I felt like it looked like horns. So I just took some Q-tips and I glued them together. But you can make it whatever you want. You can use toothpicks. And I think some people might have these. Some marshmallows, right? And you could do almost the same thing like this. Or if you have t um, black paper, you can use a white crayon. And if you have star stickers, you can use that. You can use whatever you want to make your own constellation. Or you could try to copy a constellation from the email that I send to your mommies and daddies. Okay? So thank you for joining me today, and I hope that you have a wonderful and safe weekend. Bye-bye.